What is all this? That's just a letter from the State Board of Elections, and I'll give that to them when I give them a certificate. Okay. Bell, Shul, Johnson, and Reese, more or less the other way. Showed on for the ballot, as I recall. Silent meditation, right. pledge of allegiance, and then yeah. You gotta get the mayor first. Yeah. Where is he? <laughs> he's, he's here somewhere.
Good evening. We'd like to call the Durham City Council meeting to order Monday, December 7th at 7.05 p.m. And certainly want to thank all of you and welcome all, all of you that are here with us this evening. If we could just take a moment for silent meditation, please. Thank you. As Councilman Brown, if you would leave some clear. <laughs> Where's Michael? Oh, okay, great. <laughs> He's a man of the hour this evening. Uh, as most of you know, uh, this is a, a very special evening for the council and certainly for the members of the council and their friends and families. Uh, the first order of business this evening will be the uh, certification of the elections, and we have the chair of the Board of Elections, uh, Ms. Bryan, and uh, Michael Perry. I don't know who's going to do what first, but I'm at your beck and call. Okay. Good evening. My name is Bill Bryan, and I am the chairman of the Durham County Board of Elections. I'm here this evening with Mr. Michael Perry, the Durham County Director of Elections, to report on the outcome of the November 2015 City Council elections. 19,494 people voted in the November election. This is 10.8 percent of the registered voters in the City of Durham. Of that number, 3,746 voted early, or 19.22 percent of those who voted in the election. At this time, Mr. Perry will present to the clerk the certified copy of the election results. The results of the election are as follows. For mayor, Mr. William Bill Bell. For city council at large, Mr. Stephen Shule, Ms. Jillian Johnson, and Mr. Charlie Reese. And at this time, Mr. Perry will be presenting you with your certificates of election. There were no valid challenges to the election and the results were certified by the Board of Elections on November 10th, 2015. We congratulate the winners and thank all who participated in the project uh, process. Thank you very much. Again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. As, as most of you know, this is a sort of a changing of the guard to a certain extent. We have two of our colleagues that I've had the privilege to serve with for during their 12 years on the council. Uh, both of them chose not to seek re-election uh, for various reasons, but uh, Ty Satin, is, uh, they, they made that choice. But I can tell you that during my time on this, this council, I can't think of two finer persons to have served with on, on the city council. Uh, they were very engaging, uh, always doing their homework, and once we made a decision, we moved on to the next, next item. So this evening, I'd like to present on behalf of the Durham City Council and certainly all the citizens of Durham uh, two plaques. Uh, first, I'd like uh, Councilman Eugene Brown, if you would join me. Get away. Let's, let, this, this is your, you can take it down. No. <laughs> I, I can't. I know. That's why you're getting off the board. Okay. 
Uh, the plaque reads, an appreciation to Eugene A. Brown for 12 years of dedicated service and commitment to the city of Durham and citizens as council member at large, serving December the 1st, 2003 to December the 7th, 2015. And is signed by William B. Bell Bell, the mayor, Cora Cole McFadden, Mayor Pro Tem, Council Member Eddie Davis, Council Member Don Moffitt, and Council Member Stuhl, Steve Shule, City Manager Thomas J. Bonfield, City Attorney Patrick W. Baker, and City Clerk D. Ann Gray. Gene, again, we want to present this to you, and I'm sure, hopefully, you can find a very prominent place to, to display it in one of your many offices. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, Diane. Uh, I, I don't know what else I can say about Diane. She's a person that always does her homework. Uh, sometime when we have uh, extra long meetings, you can blame it on Diane. <laughs> Steve, not anymore. We'll leave it to Steve now. But seriously, <laughs> seriously, Diane, Diane has, has been a, a very, very helpful and very guiding council member. Uh, as I said, she really does her homework and you never know what type of questions Diane is gonna come up with, but you can tell it's always at the appropriate time, the appropriate question, and sometimes we find answers, sometimes we don't, but uh, she, she, she raises, raises the question. So, Diane, I, again, I want to present this plaque and I'm gonna read it. It, it says the same except for the name, but I think it's important to, to read. It says, an appreciation to Diane in Katati for 12 years of dedicated service and commitment to the city of Durham and citizens as council members at large, December the 1st, 2003 to December the 7th, 2015. And again, it's signed by William V. Bill Bell, Mayor Cora Cole McFadden, Mayor Pro Tem, Council Member Zeddy Davis, Council Member Diane Moffitt, Council Member Steve Shule, City Manager Thomas J. Bonfield, City Attorney Patrick W. Baker, and City Clerk D. Andre. So at this time, I guess we will do the swearing in and um, before the new council persons take their seat, no, I want you guys to stay there until very, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm saying. We, we, we want to do the swearing in and uh, after that's done, then we're going to have remarks from uh, Diane and Eugene. And tonight we ha have the honor of being sworn in by the Honorable William A. Marsh III, uh, District Court Judge, uh, to administer the Oath of Office. <coughs> Test. Testing. Yeah, Mayor, Mayor Bell, um, I will uh, read the oath, and if you agree to that oath, you simply at the end need to say, I will. So if you will please raise your right hand. I, William B. Bill Bell, do hereby solemnly swear that I will support and maintain the Constitution and laws of the United States and the Constitution and laws of North Carolina, not inconsistent therewith, and that I will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of my office as mayor of the city of Durham, so help me God. I will. Congratulations. Uh, it's my wife Judith. Uh, 
little girl, Gigi, Ashlyn, Helena, little Judith, where's Alexander? Alexander, Marcus, my son-in-law, Tiffany, our oldest daughter, and Anjanae, her middle daughter. Thank you. Uh, the, the, re the reason we're doing this is probably most of you know, uh, and I've been reminded of this constantly, I really never thought about it as much until I really got, got here this evening. Uh, this is my 21st swearing in of office from 26 years on the Board of County Commissioners and seven terms of 14 years on the Durham City Council. And I, I just thought it was appropriate that people who've been with me throughout these different stages, some came on board lately, such as this one and that one, <laughs> uh, uh, to have them a part of what, what we're doing today. And uh, our son, Bill, and his wife uh, live in Charlotte, and they were not able to be here this evening. But again, uh, it's, it's been an honor and it continues to be an honor to have an opportunity to serve as an elected official in the city of Durham. And uh, although I've got two years left, uh, I probably won't really feel it until I do what Gene and Diane are doing two years from now. But again, thank you. I have the Honorable Jillian Johnson and her family join. Johnson, if you will raise your right hand, please, and repeat after me. Actually, I will read it and ask you to uh, affirm. I, Jillian Johnson, do hereby solemnly affirm that I will support and maintain the Constitution and laws of the United States and the Constitution and laws of North Carolina, not inconsistent therewith, and that I will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of my office as council member of the city of Durham. I will. Congratulations. Thank you so much, everyone. I just want to thank my family for being here tonight. My um, mom and my dad and my brother came in from Richmond today. Um, and just thank you, everyone, um, to the people of Durham for your vote of confidence in me and to my um, many campaign volunteers and uh, donors and just everyone. I feel like this was really a community effort um, to get me here. And I'm really looking forward to um, being able to do, do great work for us and, and great work for Durham. So thank you all so much. I have the honorable Charlie Reese and his family join me, please. Mm. <laughs> come here, Gwenny. Gwenny Bear, come here. Come sit with me. <laughs> All right, if you place your left hand on the Bible and raise your right hand, I will read your oath, and you can tell me that you uh, agree. I, Charlie Reese, do hereby solemnly swear that I will support and maintain the Constitution and laws of the United States and the Constitution and laws of North Carolina, not inconsistent therewith, and that I will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of my office as council member of the city of Durham. So help me God. I will. Congratulations. <laughs> So um, thank you, everybody, for coming out tonight. Uh, that's my wife, Laura, by the way, uh, and my daughters, Ellen and Gwen, uh, two of the greatest door knockers in the history of the county of Durham, city of Durham. 
I just want to thank everybody for your support and thank you for coming out tonight. Uh, tonight marks a new page in my personal history and the history of this city and the city council. And I'm honored to join this legacy of servant leadership um, following in the footsteps of Diane Katati and Eugene Brown as we all seek to make this city a better place to live. Thank you. I have the Honorable Steve Shule and his family join me, please. hand on the Bible and raise your right hand. You can repeat, well actually I'll read it and you can um, affirm at the end. I, Steve Shule, do hereby solemnly swear that I will support and maintain the Constitution and laws of the United States and the Constitution and laws of North Carolina not inconsistent therewith and that I will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of my office as council member of the city of Durham, so help me God. I will. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna go sit up there and make my remarks. But I do want to thank my son Solomon and my wife Leo for being here for me tonight. And I have a couple of other things I want to say, so I'll do that in a second. Thank you so much. As the mayor pro tem uh, comes to the dais, uh, what I'd like to do is to recognize again Diane and Eugene for their remarks, out of which, and Steve, since he wants to make remarks on. And Steve, after which we'd ask the new council members to join us in your rightful seats. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I have a little bit longer remarks, and I read them down, so I came up here to make them. Um, I, my, mainly, I want to offer thank yous. Um, I'm so grateful for the voters of Durham for giving me a second term, and I will strive to be worthy of your trust. Um, I want to thank my parents. They're 91 and 87 years old, still role models for me, and uh, they raised me to believe that politics is good, that politics is something you run towards, not away from, and that Public service is a noble privilege and that our religion, Judaism, teaches us that we should live a life dedicated to the pursuit of justice. That's what they taught me. I wanted to thank my beloved boys, Abraham and Solomon. Solomon was here, is here tonight uh, for inspiring me to work for a better future for their generation. I want to thank my colleagues on this city council and I'm glad to see the mayor pro tem has just come in. Uh, so happy to see her in, 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 in health enough to be here. And I want to tell everybody in this audience and who's listening at home, this is, I am so lucky to work with this group of people. I cannot even tell you. Um, it was, sometimes we disagree with each other, but it's, it's always done with such respect and kindness and care for Durham that all of us share. Uh, Mr. Mayor and my fellow council members, uh, I, I cherish our work together and the friendships that we forge, and I'm looking forward to doing it again. I want to particularly thank uh, Eugene and Diane, and I want to say about Eugene, what stands out for me about your work, Eugene, on this council, uh, is that you're fearless in pursuing what you think is right. You're not afraid to be a lonely voice, to speak the truth as you see it, regardless of the political consequences. And this is an incredible gift to all of us on the council to, and to people in Durham. We have needed your willingness to stand up and to stand alone, and many times that lonely stance has proven to be right. And Diane, I want to say that you are my mentor. Um, sitting next to you here on these Monday nights and on every, every other Thursday afternoon for the last four years, I've asked you a million questions. You've answered them all. 
Uh, every time we vote, I turn to you and say, how should I vote? And you always offer me your wisdom, and, uh, and mainly I do it. Um, but you have provided me such incredible wisdom every single time. Uh, and so I just want to thank you for taking me under your wing. Um, I want to say about our amazing dedicated city staff, all of you folks over there and everybody who work for you all, all of our directors and the people that work for you, uh, the 2,000 plus people who pick up the trash and keep us safe, who inspect our buildings and pave our streets, who help the unemployed find a job and run our bus system, and take care of the parks and coach our kids, and make sure the millions of gallons of water we use every day is safe and clean and comes out of the tap every time we turn it on. Um, these are amazing, fabulous people, and your, your work does not go unnoticed or unappreciated. It is so appreciated. And most of all, I want to thank my wife, Leah Ruber, um, who I love very much. Leo and I have been together for 41 years, and since the beginning, I have watched her drive off pretty much every day to Raleigh uh, in the General Assembly, where his, she has spent a lifetime working for a just criminal justice system. Um, four decades ago, way before mass incarceration was a word that people said, she's been working against mass incarceration reducing the prison population, lobbying for alternatives to prison and for substance abuse prevention and treatment, for violence prevention programs against the death penalty, against the privatization of prisons, and for the Racial Justice Act and for pushing North Carolina finally into the 21st century to hopefully join the rest of the nation, raising the age at which juveniles enter the, juvenile, uh, the, the adult court system from 16 to 18. So I admire this work so much, Leo, and it inspires me all the time. Um, and what Leo tells me every day when she drives back from Raleigh is that the, the moment she begins to feel good is she is when she sees the R. Kelly Bryant Bridge. Um, you know, fighting off one more assault in the legislature and then there's that moment when discouragement is lifted, uh, that moment when she sees in the distance the beautiful blue light of the R. Kelly Bryant Bridge, the arc that beckons her home and I think beckons us all home when we come that way, where she knows that even in our imperfection here in Durham, we're striving to build a beloved community. And I drove under that bridge myself one night last week and under the beckoning blue arc, and it reminded me of another arc, the words that President Obama has used quoting Martin Luther King, the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. And I believe that is true, but only if, it's, only if we will do the bending. Uh, Durham, even in our newfound prosperity, has many tough problems to solve. And often as a council member, I'll tell you it's difficult for me to figure out the right course of action. It's hard to figure out what will work. It's hard to figure out what's just rhetoric and what can really make a difference and what are the best ways to fight for racial justice and for an end to poverty in Durham and equality for all. And that fight is the reason I, I want to do this work. Um, but it's hard. It can be confusing and discouraging. And, it, and it's, it seems never ending. And so it's hard to finish, you know. It's hard to bend the ark. So I remember the ancient words of Rabbi Tarfan when I think about this, which are, Rabbi Tarfan said, it's not incumbent upon you to complete the task, but neither are you free to desist from it. Which brings me to Jillian and Charlie. Um, you all represent a new generation taking its rightful place today in the leadership of our city. Um, a generation which will also not complete the task, but will bend the arc of the moral universe much farther than our generation has. Um, Jillian, we have been friends for many years since you were my student at Duke, uh, and you were brilliant and brave and kind even then. And Charlie, as I've come to know you through the campaign, I've grown to admire your brain power, your work ethic, and your conscience. And thankfully, also your sense of humor. Uh, and I'm excited to serve with you. So it's with real gratitude that I look forward to the next four years on the city council. Uh, together with all of you, I think we can uh, make the city we love a city for all. Thank you.
turns out I like the view from up here. Oh, well. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. So this is a really tough goodbye for me. I love this job. I will miss it greatly. Um, to my family, I want to thank you for your patience and loving support. And Chuck and Leah and Alex, thanks for being here with me tonight. My children were young when I started. Now they are adults making their way in the world and making it a better place. Chuck, you're the best. Thank you. To Tom, to Wanda, where, where's Wanda? Oh, there you are. <laughs> to Bo, to Keith, Carmisha, Beverly, Mark, Steve, I could go on all night. So to you and to all the hardworking staff of the city, I have the utmost respect for the work that you do. Your integrity and your commitment to making the city city better is unsurpassed, and as you know, I will miss you all tremendously. So to Patrick in the city attorney's office, thank you for your wise counsel and dedication to the city. To Anne and the staff of the city clerk's office, thank you for your tremendous support and caring service. To my supporters and campaign team over the years, thank you. Your support means more than I can ever express. I love this city, I love our diversity, our passion, and our ability to wrestle with tough issues to make things better. To the newest council members, I wish you all the best. I hope you build on all that's come before you. And lastly, to my colleagues, you know, um, I'm really so very proud of what we've been able to accomplish together for our city, and I will miss you all so very much. Um, thanks for your patience and counsel and vigorous debate over the years. It's been a fun ride. Keep up the good work. Good night and good luck. Thanks. This is the top. Yeah. Uh, tonight, uh, my wife signed uh, Signa and I would like to bestow upon this city uh, that has been so good and gracious to us uh, this very special print. This is by the artist uh, that most of you know, uh, Norman Rockwell. It's a special print that's been approved by their museum in, in Boston. Uh, this rendering, which was oil on canvas when he did it in 1963, then graced the cover of Look Magazine in 1964. And what this depicts is a girl, a little girl named Ruby Bridges, as she walked in November of 1960 to her elementary school in New Orleans. Now, note that the full image of the, the girl is the focus of this very fine piece of art, not the four U.S. Marshals who accompanied her. So, in my judgment, what the artist is trying to say is that Ruby is the most important subject in this piece and in this time. And if it is anyone, any person, who has ever exemplified courage, 
it is this girl. Uh, indeed, this iconic painting has come to serve as an important symbol of civil rights for this country. So much, in fact, that President Obama requested that it be put on display, the original, in the White House. And so Signal and I believe that it should also be on display in the Durham City Hall. Thank you. Uh, you see why we're going to miss uh, these classy persons. Uh, such a well done job. Yeah, what? Uh, ten pages of remarks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad all of you had this great dinner outside. Chateaubriand, finest wine, spiked Baptist punch. <laughs> Well, folks, the, uh, the last 12 years have been quite a ride. And I approach this evening as, as Diane does, with uh, mixed feelings. It is almost like uh, drinking an enticing cocktail comprised of two jiggers of happy and one of sad. I love this job. As I have said too, I believe I've been pretty damn good at it. And so it is with sadness in some respects that I leave. I am also sad because I am leaving my, my dear colleagues, Bill Bell, Diane Katati, Cora, Cole McFadden, Eddie Davis, Steve Shule, and Don Moffat. I'm also sad to be leaving our three exemplary city council employees. That is city manager Tom Bonfield, city attorney Patrick Baker, and city clerk Ann Gray. And of course I am saddened too to leave our city staff and department heads. You've been terrific to work with, all of you, and I love you all. And now I have some special thank yous. I want to thank the citizens of Durham, who on three different occasions elected me to this office. And I more than appreciate your confidence in me and your appreciation of what together we have achieved for my hometown. Most importantly, <clears throat> I want to take the time this evening to thank the special woman in my life, my wife, Signa, and also my daughter, Christine, and her husband, Brad. Thank you all for your patience and understanding why I served on council. And would the three of you please stand. <clears throat> now, I do want to add, however, that during the last several months, whenever my wife was asked, what is your husband going to do when he retires? Her answer was always the same. He's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> now, the good portion of the cocktail that I mentioned is the positive role this mayor and council have played 
in the past 12 years in really turning this city around. Some of you have short memories and do not recall what Durham was like back in those days. And tonight is not the time to dwell on that. But I think there's been a true renaissance in Durham and we're all the better for it. And Diane and I are in agreement. Tonight we're leaving this council with our heads held high, knowing that we are leaving this city in far better hands than it was when we were elected 12 years ago. For as I, had, as I have said, Durham is no longer an up and coming place. It is the place, the place for our citizens to work, play, enjoy, and participate in their city affairs. And they do participate. And I hope and believe that our two newly elected members, Charlie Reese and Jillian Johnson, will work with our mayor and current council members to continue the pro pro progress that we have all made. Now folks, I'm not naive. I realize that in spite of our progress, we are not yet that perfect shining city upon a hill. Challenges still abound, and especially too in dealing with that recalcitrant General Assembly in Raleigh. I am cognizant too with many of the issues that were raised and discussed during the fall campaign. Poverty, homelessness, the lack of affordable housing, and the need to improve police community relations. Rest assured, this existing council understands and is committed as we have in the past to addressing these challenges as well. And so I am reminded of a rather insightful quote by the theologian Martin Luther, who wrote, this life therefore is not righteousness, but growth in righteousness. Not health, but healing. Not being, but becoming. And I would use poetic license to alter this quote to say that for we, as a city, we are not yet what we should be. But in his words, we are growing towards it. The process is not yet finished, but it is going on. This is not the end, but it is the road. And so I leave you tonight with a simple farewell from my favorite journalist, Edward R. Merle, who was fond of saying, good night and good luck. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. <laughs> Newly elected council persons. Let, let me recognize first, we had some elected officials here. Representative Mickey Mishaw is in the back. <laughs> For, former city councilman, now Senator Mike Woodard.
is Ellen Reckow. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ellen Reckow, County Commissioner. And, and, and no former County Commissioner, uh, uh, County Commissioner, Wendy Jacobs was Ed here. Harris. Uh, Ed Harrison, Chapel Hill Town. <laughs> we have the District Attorney, Roger Eccles. And I don't know if I'm missing anyone else. If I am, would you please stand? Elected official. With, that's, was the sheriff here? The sheriff yes, was here at the reception. Mike, Mike Andrews was here earlier. Okay, well, again, this has been a great night, great comments, great people. And now we're going to ask the newly elected council persons if they would join us at the podium. Be seated if you like, or if you need to leave, I understand that too. Uh, the, the first order of business is to organize the council, and uh, one of the other positions that I consider very important is the position of Mayor Pro Tem. Uh, I've been privileged, and this council has been privileged, the city has been privileged to have had the services of Mayor Pro Tem Coracle McFadden. And I will again endorse the nomination of Mayor Pro Tem Coracle McFadden to be again Mayor Pro Tem for the next two year terms, next two years. And I will entertain a motion to that effect. It's been properly moved and second. Uh, Madam Clerk, will you open the vote? Okay. Is everybody voting? Close the vote. It passes seven to zero. Thank you. Yes, so are there any comments by members of the council? Recognize Councilman Davis. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, during Steve Shule's remarks, he talked about coming back to Durham from the east, coming in uh, to Durham and going, driving under the blue lights, the Kelly Bryant lights. Um, th those lights will be there, I hope, forever. But we have had the loss of the man who the lights um, stand for. And after 98 years, two months, and 14 days, we no longer have our Kelly Bryant with us here in Durham. So I hope that we will pray for his family and um, hope that all of us will understand and appreciate the wonderful contributions that he has made to the city of Durham, the state of North Carolina, and these United States of America over his lifetime. Thank you, Ed. Could, could I just ask again for a moment of silence I, in memory of R. Kelly Bryant. Thank you. Any other comments by members of council? Uh, hearing none, we'll move with the agenda. Uh, the first item is the priority items. Again, we have priorities by the city manager, city attorney, and city clerk. Recognize. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Good evening. No priority items. Likewise, City Attorney. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. No priority items. Likewise, City Clerk. No items, Mr. Mayor. Uh, the items that we move with now is the consent agenda. The consent agenda may be approved with a single vote if a council member or someone from the audience chooses to have an item removed from the agenda. 
We will remove it and discuss it later in the meeting. Uh, item one is approval of city council minutes. Item two is the cross connection control performance audit October 2015. Item three is professional engineering services for the east west reinforcing main route study award contract to Hazen and Sawyer PC. Item four is professional engineering services for American Tobacco District water line replacement contract award to Kimberly Horn and Associates. Item five is the bid report for October 2015. Item 16 is proposed sale of 2600 Sarah Avenue by upset bid parcel ID 104738 and parcel ID 104739 City Track 563 and 496. Item 7 is priority trails for a healthy, well connected Durham. Item 8 is comprehensive annual fin financial report for the fiscal year ended June 30, 2015. Item 9 is fiscal year 2015 16 first quarter financial report. Entertain a motion for the approval of the consent agenda. So moved. It's been Second. properly moved and seconded. Madam Clerk, we open the vote. Close the vote. It passes 7 to 0. One, one other item that uh, we have to deal with is organizing the council in terms of committees. Uh, I'm going to pass around the committee assignments, and what I would ask is if any council person wants to remove his name from the particular committee that he's been, he or she has been consigned and would prefer to go to another committee, uh, my first recommendation would be that you have that discussion with the council person who might be in the committee you're looking for. Uh, in any event, what I would ask if you could have this okay by our work session Thursday so we can give it to the clerk and she can inform the various boards and commissions on which you serve. Uh, and I, I have added one more committee uh, to, this, to this list. I guess one, one of the items that I, I have had some concern about, and it's not just me, a lot of people come up to me and say this, and I'm sure they say it to others, is the fact that you know, Durham is now, as I said over and over again, the fourth largest city in the state of North Carolina behind Charlotte, Raleigh, and Greensboro. We're certainly in the top 10 cities. And the one thing that I think the city ought to be able to do, you know, we're a city that's considered to be creative, innovators, American underground, all those good things. We ought to be able to have a holiday parade. So the committee that I've added is a holiday parade committee. And I've asked the mayor pro tem to co-chair it. I've, I'm asking Councilman Don Moffitt and our two newly elected council persons to serve on that. And the timing is right for it. I mean, what, what we, and I, I know we've, we've been through this before. I know one of the issues is where do you stage it? What time of the day do you have it? What day do you have it? All those things are going with a parade. But if other citizens can do it, we ought to be able to do it here in Durham. And the timing of it is correct because it's obviously going to take money. So I would hope that this committee would work towards preparing a plan for a holiday parade in 2016. You pick the month, the date, the time. But have it ready so that when we do our budget this year, in June, July, that we can have this as a part of our budget. Because it's going to cost some money. You don't get anything free. Even Christmas doesn't come free. So, uh, especially Christmas, especially Christmas. So you, you, you'll find your names on, on this committee list. And again, I would appreciate if you uh, look at it closely, and again, if you have thoughts you might want to change, uh, speak to whoever you want to make the changes to. But we'd like to have this done so that Thursday we can have it at the work session and the clerk can go on with uh, providing information to the records. I'm passing it out now. Are there any other items to come before the council tonight? If not, we're adjourned at 7.54 p.m. Thank you. Thank you.